Welcome to our series about building Go executables. This time, we're going to talk about embedding. One of the biggest advantages of Go is that it compiles to a single executable file, so distribution is really easy. But a lot of times, applications are composed of several files. In Go 1.16, we got a new package called embed, which allows you to embed assets inside the generated executable. So, here we have the database layer, and I have a query. I can put the query as a doc, as a string here, but in, I prefer to write them inside .sql files, so I get syntax highlighting, I can run linters, and other things on them. And then, in the database code, what I do is I do an underscore import of embed, just for the side effects, and then I create my query SQL string. On top of it, I put a go colon embed directive and tell it to inject the content of this file into the string when Go builds the file. You can use either strings or byte slices if you will use images and other things. Once this code is being built, you can use the query SQL when you access the database. But you can do more than just a single uh, file. For example, if you have the documentation as an HTML file, and I'm using Bootstrap and maybe a favorite icon, etc., etc. So inside my HTTP code, I can say now that I have a static deer which is embed.fs. Embed.fs is a file system abstraction, and again I do go embed and tell it to embed this time the static directory. And now in our code, I'm doing it redirect. If someone goes to slash docs, it will redirect to slash static docket.html and I'm saying that the static is HTTP file server over HTTPFS of this static directory. So now this static directory is served automatically by Go. Let's have a look. So go run dot and if you're running this for the first time it might take a while because I'm using SQLite which compiles SQLite with the C compiler so it's going to take a little bit of time. But now if I'm going to HTTP localhost 8080 slash docs. This is going to do the redirect, and I'm going to see my site with the bootstrap documentation. You can see also the five icon here. This is a great example why I'm never doing any front end development. And of course, I can also go and make a query to the server, and this is going to execute my SQL string on the database. Oh, a lot of results. That's it. See you next time.